energetics. Virgo, Pisces, Axis, opposites of the same spectrum. They are in service. They are the axis of healing, of health, of healing. And it is really the dance between the divine realms, Pisces, and Virgo, the earthly realms. So this energy is really asking you to bring a grounding, a structure into your day-to-day -day spiritual intuitive expression. Virgo Pisces is an energy that is beautiful for creation. It's an energy that you want to tap into receiving messages from the divine. Filling our own cup first, being of service first and foremost to ourselves so that we can serve and we can work with others. Pisces Virgo is the axis of sadomasochism as well. Although it is of service, it's the healer, it can also overgive and completely lose itself in service. It is a challenge asking us to make sure we take care of our health, our well being, and our very specific needs first before we can serve the other. Pisces Virgo also can be associated with escapism, and we can be escaping pain. Pisces is the sign associated with the age of deep suffering and really losing ourselves in the escaping of our deep feelings and our deep emotions. We can almost disassociate sometimes because it's too hard to confront our suffering. So we really want to acknowledge our suffering. We want to acknowledge what we have gone through without overly attaching to it. Pisces can also victimize itself. So we want to be taking responsibility for our health and well-being. We want to be looking at where are we addicted to another? Where are we addicted to codependent relationships? Where are we addicted to something that takes us away from our feelings? We're being asked to feel. We have a very strong energy in Pisces. Saturn is in Pisces, which is the planet of limitation, rules, karma. It, it really limits us. It makes things heavy. So this could be an energy of feeling down, depressed. Remember, it's very emotional. We could be feeling an overall seriousness because this is not a time to avoid our suffering and our problems. This is a time to clean up our mess, clean up ourselves. This is about organization, purifying, and devoting ourselves to our healing journey. Please let us take some time to honor and respect the healing we have done until now, especially over the last six months. And what do we need to focus on now to really make things happen in the real world? We want to bring that divine commitment to earth. Can we commit to our spirituality? Can we commit to our creative process? Can we commit to our health and healing? Can we commit to our spiritual awakening journey? This is about making it tangible, real in the physical world. Boundaries. What can you allow and what can you not? We need to look at our expectations. There is a heightened energy focused on relationships right now. We are in a deep process of healing individually and also working on how we show up in our relationships. It's time to focus on getting coherent with your body, the way you take actions, with your mind, the way you're thinking, and with your feeling. It is time to really unify those three, the Trinity, so that we can really do what it is we need for ourselves. This is about taking responsibility for ourself and our behavior. This is not about blaming or expecting validation or others 
to give us what we need to do for ourselves. This is hard. This is a hard lesson. So be gentle on yourself because this is sometimes Virgo and Pisces care too much about the other, that there can be a guilt. So we need to let go of this feeling of needing to be better. Virgo can be very hypercritical, self-judgmental, more on itself than anyone else. So it's really about not getting into that masochistic, beating yourself up. You are in a process of unraveling, of becoming. So it is really important for you to be gentle and loving and caring with yourself. We are moving towards a world where we will not be led by a guru or a power telling us what to do. We will be following our inner intuition, our inner knowingness, and we will be learning to work unity through diversity. But this is a massive process. As the old system is crumbling, those in power, abusing their power control will be more and more revealed. The people will less and less support this abuse of power, this patriarchal system based on only money, power, gain. We will no longer accept this in the new world. And this is a very pivotal year in the expansion of our Consciousness, those of us who are doing this work of becoming aware, of becoming conscious of what we are actually here doing, we are the ones that are helping to birth the new world, the new system. The old system will take some time to crumble, so it's not very clear cut. But if you're listening to this, you are part of that birthing movement of the people taking back their power. This is a very emotionally charged time, okay? There is a lot of tension and emotion. Energetic hygiene is key. Do your grounding work, get your feet on the earth. This is about taking care of yourself, okay? This is an opportunity for deep healing so if you do any somatic work, in conclusion, this is a beautiful time to commit to your health and your healing, to commit to working with your body. This is a perfect time to change your diet, to get your exercise routine on check. Virgo wants to clean it up. Although it may be emotional and it may be hard, we can also work with this Piscean flowing energy that's asking us to connect and ground, okay? This is a huge energy we need to look at, which is bringing the divine to earth and not being stuck in a cloud of escapism, avoidance and disassociation, but really being here feeling our feelings. It's about allowing yourself to feel your feelings. And again, what I can always suggest for working with energy and feelings is making art, creating something, working with your body physically, going hiking, yoga, whatever it is that connects you and allows you to express the energy so you don't have to feel like it's stuck within you. I have very strong Pisces Virgo in my chart. My south node is Pisces, my north node is Virgo. And I have Saturn in Virgo, so I have a lot of Virgo opposing Pisces. And my challenge in this life has really been to bring my magic to earth. It's been really hard for me to ground in reality and take action and build my physical business and my reality because I'm full of ideas and flowing and talent and creativity and I just want to float above the clouds. However, it's not possible in this lifetime, but I do have a gift of creativity, of spiritual connection. I am a divine translator. I do bring magic to earth. So, if you want some support, 
I do private consultations where I can look at your astrology, your human design, your gene keys, whatever energetic system along with channeling, whatever your issue, concern, question is, I can deep dive into your energetics and bring you some practical solutions and information that can help you really align cosmically with your mission, your goal, your purpose. I am a 3-5 mental projector. I am one of the rare 3% of the world mental projectors. I am really here to guide by using my fabulous mind to penetrate deep into the patterns and see what is out of alignment to feel what needs to be course corrected. So please send me a private message if you want more info about a private reading. Beijing. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Beijing.